In this video, uh, I will show you the basics on the Create Print Job and the DTG RIP Pro. Show you the basic settings you can use and how to get your prints going. Okay. I'm going to go to File, Create Print Job, and it'll bring up this nice little dialog here. Usually, the first thing we want to go to is our printer and print area. So we'll have all of our platen sizes. In the earlier videos I showed you how to install the platens and how to edit them. For this particular design that I'm going to do, it's going to be one single t-shirt. And I'm going to use the 16 by 20, the whole platen. And for step and repeat, I'm just going to leave this at no step, no step and repeat, and no step and repeat for the template basically because I'm not making more than one t-shirt at the same time. You want to make sure your printer is set at Viper or the Summit. They're both the same. Okay, and now let's import a graphic. Well, the graphic I'm going to import has a black background. It's this one here. A lot of the times it says the graphic will be resized to fit. Okay, now once you have the graphic in here, you can move it freely wherever you like on the platen. You can tell the platen is 16 inch wide by 20 inch tall, just like we have it set here. Normally what I like to do is bring it to the left some, and then grab the bottom right, and stretch it out big. Okay, let's go to the artwork tab. In the artwork tab you can use center horizontal and that will center it horizontally. You can tell it didn't do much because I was pretty close there. Uh, center vertical will put it pretty much in the middle of the platen. If you use both it will dead center it in the whole platen. But typically we don't use the center vertical because the way we load our shirt we want to keep it kind of towards the top. And I like to keep a nice white border around it, just in case, but you can do whatever you like. You can play around with it and figure out what's the best for you. You can also rotate your artwork. Now this is good if you are using uh, more than one shirt on the platen, and it all depends on how you want it to be set up. But We'll just use regular just like this alright we'll go to color settings and these are the different settings in your system folder I'm sorry the color profiles uh, usually the one that works good for us is the color match RGB.ICC so it's, try that out first and you can also play around with different color profiles to fit your liking Okay, CMYK, we just usually leave that at default, but you can play around with those as well. <clears throat> Color uh, appearance, photo normal is good. Typically, 90% of the time you're going to use that. Uh, vivid and darker is good if you have some vector art, and it just makes it a little darker. But photo normal is typ typically good. Uh, you can play around with the brightness. Sometimes it's good to make it just a little lighter, but you can play around with that and however you like it. Uh, but for this image, I'll go ahead and make it a little lighter, and you have to press apply. You can see it kind of lightened everything up. Alright, since I'm going to be printing this on a black shirt, we're going to use white ink, and you can find that in the white ink control tab. Since this has a black background, what we're going to do is use the background color black. And it, what it will do is remove all of this black here. So your CMYK, it won't use the black ink. It will use the shirt instead to create the black. 
OK. And once we've used background black, we can go ahead and create. And you can see it brought in most of this. It got rid of most of the black. Now up here is your view. You can choose the white, and this will show you what how much white ink is being laid down. Of course, it's negative, so you can see. The darker area black is going to be more white. And the lighter area, the grays, will be lighter white. You can also preview what this will look like on the shirt. By that, you can go to set the material color. And since we're doing a black shirt, we'll choose the black. Now, you can't see anything yet. It's because we're not on the preview tab. If you click preview, you can see what it'll look like on the shirt. You can uncheck the grid to get a better look. Okay. Um, down here on the black handling, you can remove the black ink. Note that you have to ha click on your image to have it selected to use these settings. But you can completely remove the black ink. And this is the threshold, basically how much ink you want to remove. We're not going to do that right now. You can also change the density. This will remove more black or less black. Uh, if you take it less down, it'll remove more of the black. As you can see, it brought in brought it in some more, which is actually good. We want as less black as we we can when we're printing onto a black shirt. And the contrast will also shrink the white layer down a little bit, which is good. So we typically like to bring the contrast up just a little bit. And now every time you make a change, you have to press the Create button. Okay. Uh, if you have a picture with a transparent background, you want to use Transparency Detect Background. If you have a photo, more or less like a rectangular or square photograph that you want to use, you want to do underbase the entire image and that will pretty much lay down white under the whole image, which works very well for photographs. But we're just going to leave use background color black since this particular image has a black background. Okay, now we'll go to the print settings tab. Now for media, we have we're going to use the black cotton. Uh, for white shirts, you use the, want to use the white. Uh, we're going to use the more saturated, but of course you can play around with these to figure out which one you like more. Print quality for the color layer. We're going to leave this at 720 by 720. Print density for the white layer. We're going to make it the highest, 1440 by 1440. It's going to lay down a lot of white ink, and it's going to make the colors really pop. We want one white pass and one color pass. It's typically what you want to use. Now for the print direction, unidirectional is going to be a little slower, and bidirectional is faster. Unidirectional, you might might get a little better quality, but typically you want to use bidirectional as it's faster and looks good. Uh, if you have a dual CMYK machine, you can check this here. But since we have a white ink machine, we're just going to leave that unchecked. Okay, now everything's okay. I'm going to press OK, and we're going to send it. And it'll go ahead and render the job. What it's going to do for the black shirt is going to render a white layer and a color layer. And your printer is going to print the white layer first, and then it'll come back and you'll print the color layer. see there's a white layer. Now it's going to render the color, color layer. And it'll do the white layer first and then the color. And make sure you had a shirt loaded into the machine before you send the print. And there you have uh, the basic settings for the create print job.